Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have something I don't often do on this channel but I got some really exciting mail today and I thought I would share it with you so we have a book unboxing. So I received two packages from two publishers. One is from Scribe Publishing, the other is from Alan and Unwin. I have actually opened the boxes, I just wanted to check what everything was and then when I saw what it was I'm like I need to share this with people so I haven't actually been through things properly and you'll see why in a moment. So this first box is from Scribe Publishing and it's super exciting because everything's wrapped. I don't often get mail from publishers that's wrapped so I'm very excited. <coughs> Who doesn't love something that makes noise? So there are two books. One should not leave me with wrapping paper because I tear it. And the first book is Party Time and I guess that is very very applicable with the wrapping and the party horn. This is by Antonia Presenti. Oh okay so it's like a board book but it's a board book with flip out, with flip out pages so that's exciting. And then there is this book. Feels like a hardback. How We Share Cake by Kim Hoi Hoyun, maybe? I apologize if I've mispronounced that. Uh, I'm sensing a theme here. Party books. That's exciting. I will have to read and review these probably together to stick with the theme. So both of these come from Scribble which is the kids imprint for Scribe Publishing here in Australia. So excited. So obviously I'm not going to be reviewing those now, I haven't read them. And then we come to this giant box which is full of books, like it's it's packed. So we're just going to go through them again, obviously I haven't read these yet, they just arrived today. So there is The Backyard Games by Alistair Nicholson and illustrated by Tom Jellett. This one I did request, very excited to read this. There are two more books in the Legends of Sport series, I read uh, two earlier in the year. So this one is on Mary Fowler, so it's part of the Football Legends series. And then there is also Daniel Ricardo, which is the F1 Legends series. That's exciting, I did enjoy those as by I mean I don't know all that much about sports outside of ice hockey so this is helpful for me. What else is in here? I feel like a kid at Christmas and it's only the 1st of October. There is The Sweetness Between Us by Sarah Winifred Searle. This is a young adult graphic novel. I read her first graphic novel, was it last year? Maybe? Last year or the year before? So yeah that's exciting. There is Isabel Carmody's newest book Comes the Night. This cover is absolutely stunning. I have seen this, I don't know all that much about it except that it is set in Australia or maybe maybe it's not a oh maybe it's not a fantasy. So it's a thrilling standalone novel, we love a standalone novel, it's young adult. A 16 year old hero on an epic quest through a mysterious alternative dreamscape. I do like books that center around dreams, dreamscapes and dream monsters. Okay this sounds interesting, can't wait to dive into this. Then there is Garth Nix's new book as well. This one is We Do Not Welcome Our Ten Year Old Overlord. And I don't know much about this one. Oh, it's about a character who like, wants to play dra Dungeons and Dragons, but he's living in his sister's shadow. And this is a middle fiction story, so that will be interesting to try. The next one is Thunderhead by Sophie Beer, a awkward music obsessed character. Okay, so this is based on Sophie Beer's experience with hearing loss. So it's a middle grade novel about music, disability, friendship and fandom. Okay, officially intrigued. There's another picture book. This one is A Beginner's Guide to Choosing the Perfect Pet by Ali Rutstein and illustrated by Tommy Doyle. It's about how to choose the perfect pet for your family. And then the last book in here is one that I definitely requested because uh, I love anything Antarctica, whether it's kids fiction or adult fiction. And this one is Into the Ice, Reflections on Antarctica by Alison Lester and Coral Tulloch. And this, this looks gorgeous. It is a chunky picture book. So I'm assuming that it is a na bit like a narrative non-fiction. Yeah, it looks like it's a narrative non-fiction. I'm so excited to dive into this. And it even had like it, it has texture on the cover. That's really cool. This was a giant pile of books I was not expecting to arrive in the mail today and I am very, very excited to get into them. So I will be reviewing all of these. I'm assuming, yeah, so all of the Alan and Unwin ones I think have release dates at the end of October. I'm not sure about the Scribble books yet, I will check those dates. So stay tuned, you will hear about them soon and if there is something that you would like reviewed sooner rather than later, as one book falls down the back of the pile, uh, feel free to let me know. Thank you very much for watching. In the comments I'd love to know, have you read any of these authors before? Are there any books on here that you're excited to see come out and hear reviews for in the coming weeks? Or feel free to just leave me a book stack emoji to let me know you're here. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.